Welcome back, friends, followers, and transients to Kingdoms and Castles with me, Vapor. And a very good point was made in the comments. Why am I building wooden walls here when I have so much stone? Now, the logic in my mind was I'm building these wooden walls because I'm going to remove them later on to expand the town, but we're literally at the edge here. And even if we were going to expand into the water, it would only be up to this point here because we can't go any further than that. So this bit, I may as well just replace and do stone, which I'm doing, because this is going to be the harbour, which will be kind of outside my wall, I guess. I will probably have some kind of defensive structures maybe on the corners here. But um, I think we'll kind of have this going on here. Maybe a little bit of a kill box, but I know their boats will attack the towers anyway. Uh, because they just enjoy doing that, so it doesn't kind of really matter if, if you make a kill box or not, they'll try and find other ways through. Um, so yeah, we're going to build this wall up a little bit. We've got some food coming in, some extra people going on here. I think now, potentially, if the food situation and the people situation is okay, then we might start looking at some soldiers. Okay, the wall is complete, the farms are complete, and the one cottage is built. But we're actually still short of people. So, I think potentially what I need to do... Let me rotate this. I have a new mouse, so I'm still getting used to it. It's a, it's a lot bigger than my old one. Um, yeah, so I keep kind of misclicking. So food, I reckon they'll be okay, because we've got the extra farm up here on, on the very fertile land. So that's great, but yeah, we haven't got all the people we need. Um, we're a little bit short down here, so <clears throat> potentially we're going to need to uh, build some uh, mansions, I think. I mean, we're okay for some of the resources, so we can probably do that. Oh, we have a dragon. Did I build a ballista? I did build one. Um, we'll kind of ignore that for the moment. I mean, it's probably going to cause some some grief for us. Uh, let's see what coverage they've got up here. So not enough charcoal and no access to water, really. Oh, you're just outside, okay. Well, we can remedy that pretty quickly. Um, happiness is pretty high, which is cool. We're probably going to need another market up here. I think that's going to start being a problem now. Even though we've got the uh, stone roads. Right, where is this dragon? It is actually coming in from the decided ballista, so this will be interesting. Are we going to take out our first dragon, I wonder? Two shots. Okay, so the house has just been built, signified by the knocking noise. So we'll wait for the uh, population to match the beds, and then we'll know where we're kind of at. I do think mansions are probably going to be the thing we need. And the splashing sound is the well. <laughs> Finally figured out what that was. Okay, so it's been hit a couple of times. Now the archers are probably going to take over at this stage. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and there's another one coming in. Now he's got to have been hurt fairly badly. But we've still not actually managed to take a dragon out yet. Which is a tiny bit annoying. Let's speed it up a, a little bit. Oh, you're going to set fire to my marketplace. Hopefully they'll, they'll deal with that. Okay, he's he's getting away because that means so I must have hurt him quite badly there for that to happen, which is pretty cool. Um, 209 beds, 208 people, non-idle. Oh, there we go. We got some idle. Now the fire is out, so it's not a lot. That literally, I think, if I put one of these down, would take at least five people. Oh, it takes all seven. Wow, how many people to do that? Uh, builders, 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 builders. Where are you? Oh, it is seven people. Yikes. Seven people for that one thing. Okay. I guess I need to consider where I'm going to build some mansions. Their coverage is... I should probably have built a mansion here, actually. Do you know what? I think we will. Let's... Oh, I hate doing this because it's going to upset some people. Well, let's go for it. Uh, we'll place you there. You'll be nice. And face the right way, I think, now. Let's speed the game up. Because we want to try and make the most of like things like the churches. So we've, we've got one in, at least. We're going to need another church or something up here. I don't, the library's here as well. So the library does give us a bit of extra coverage, which is kind of cool. Come on, hopefully nobody leaves. Come on, a little bit more. A little bit more. All the resources are here. You should do it really quickly. 
And then if I demolish this one quickly enough, they'll probably all move into there. Brilliant. And we'll rotate you outwards like so, I think. Um, yeah, it is that way, isn't it? I'm just d d double checking it kind of matches the other side because I can't help myself. I, I will get occasionally slightly OCD. I think, do you know what? We will we'll do something like that. Because it means we can put something else in there at some point. So that, that gives me 20 people, doesn't it? I think. Something like that. So that should free me up quite a bit of uh, extra labour. 90 we've visited one stayed. Awesome. Does that mean that house is full? 20, oh, it's 25 people. We've got two idle people currently. Nine idle people. And then once this fills, this has no access to charcoal. So I think, although I don't really want to do it, because that takes quite a few people, doesn't it? How much does a market take? 10. We might still be okay, you know. There is charcoal going on. Yeah, they have charcoal. That one doesn't yet, but there goes the heads of household now. Are oh, they going to go and collect the food from there because the market is too far away, I guess. Why run back that way? It's super slow. Maybe I'm going to have to put another road through there. Okay, so we've got 14 spare people. I think, first off, we will just increase the height of some of these just to bolster our defences a bit. Can I... There we go. Get it the same height. Perfect. And we're going to need another one around here. How many? One, two, three, four, five. So the sixth one. How does that one seem a little bit lower? Oh, okay. They're all lower because originally I had the wooden wall here, didn't I? I remember now. Okay, let's, let's just make this wall another layer higher. There we go. Ah, okay. I didn't mean to click there, but clearly, you know, it happened. What can I do? It's there what I want to click. There we go. That's more like it. Vikings. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Slow the game down a second. Um, I think... I think we'll go with, have we run out of materials? What did we run out of there? Oh, stone. Have we got enough for a ballista? We have. Right, there we go. Right, where are these Vikings coming from? And oh my goodness, an ogre. It's only the one. Oh, they're going to come the one direction. I have no defense. <laughs> this game is, uh, I don't know if it's smart or just fortunate sometimes. Well, he's going to just tromp all the way through my houses. I mean, he tends to go for certain things, but he's probably going to smash my houses. And I think he usually takes five buildings at a time. Unless they change that. I mean, he might attack the road. They used to attack the road, but I think they smartened the AI so it doesn't do that. Yeah, it's not doing it anymore. Because you used to be able to put roads down as just like barriers and, and, uh, and the ogre would take out the roads and not cause you any grief. The issue is here, in a, in a sense we might kind of be okay, if they're going to come all the way down here. Okay, now they're going to set fire to everything. Okay, so the ogre is currently being attacked. He's probably going to come and take this tower out, actually. And I don't know. Oh, that would be in range. Hopefully he attacks. Yeah, he's going to attack that one first. We don't have a mason at the moment, so we can't fix anything. But he's probably going to wipe that complete tower out. Oh my god. What have we just lost? We lost something. Is it a house? Yes. Okay. Can we, can we afford another cottage? There goes one of my walls. The yoga isn't dead yet. It's a shame this isn't up and running. That would probably have made the difference. This tower is going to bite it. Oh, if we lose that, we lose all the resources, don't we? I'm hoping we don't. So we've lost one iron. We got quite a bit of iron. Oh, is that tools? It is tools. Or is it iron? No, this is iron. Okay. 
There's a lot going on here. He's going to... How much is left on that one? One life. Next hit takes it out. <laughs> uh, what's he going to go for now? Some wall, I guess? I probably won't rebuild that one anyway. Yeah, he's going to come and take out some wall. I'm hoping he doesn't take out that one. Because that would be mildly annoying. That's still on fire. They're trying their hardest to do that. This is quite a nasty invasion. This is what happens when you ain't got a wall around your entire base. This has only got like two or three health, hasn't it? Yeah. Next hit and it's gone. Is there anything attacking him? No. Please. Oh, yes. At least he's not attacking that. Oh, has he done? Has he had enough? Or is he going to go from our windmill? You just never know when he's quite finished. I think he's leaving. Should probably count our blessings. I think we lost a lot of people here. Three from one party were taken out. Six people. Is it six people altogether? It's probably going to be a few more, actually. I think it, unless it counts these ones here. I'm not sure if it does or not. Yes, we definitely need troops. Definitely. If I'd have done that when I mentioned it earlier, we probably would be in a better position. One extra person has gone. Okay, well, at least we've got some defences on this side. Which means we can have soldiers over this side defending that area, I think. They've definitely tweaked the AI a little bit. It was kind of easy um, to fool it before. Not so much now, I don't think. Okay, so what we should probably do is change our blacksmith. We've got 48 tools, so... How are we for stone? I'm not doing too bad. Let's... Let's remove one of them so we can eventually put some stone in here and then we'll switch our blacksmith to making armaments. And then hopefully these will last long enough to keep um, feeding my uh, quarries and stuff. So we've got 235 beds and 221. So we lost quite a few people there. So let's let this kind of catch up a, a, just a bit, I think, before we... Uh, See, the fire risk on these is really low. That's the difference between wood and uh, stone, I guess. We'll see. Yeah, so they can still burn down, which makes sense. See, technically, having higher walls is, is the best bet. Because the higher it is. So this one... Oh, you can't tell. Uh, this one's got eight life, so that's eight hits. This one's got four. So the higher you've got them, in a roundabout way, is better. Because it means it, you potentially will take out anything that's attacking it before it destroys the wall and your mason will come along and fix it. So even these probably could do with being a little bit higher, but for the moment, I'm fairly happy with that. Right, so our happiness is quite low. We have some gold. So I think if we do a festival, uh, food is not looking too shabby, so I'm okay with that. So that will give us a plus 15, which hopefully will mean, yeah, we've got some people coming in. So we've got some idle people. Cool. So I guess what we should do is build a barracks. And I'm going to build that up here somewhere, I think. Not that it really makes a difference, but... I can't, to be honest, I like the idea of it being down here in like the harbour area. But I think, I mean, here is the logical place because of the castle, but this is pretty dead land. We've we got some food area here, potentially. Can we rotate you? We can. I think we'll build it here. Or oh, right up against that. And the only reason is, because um, that's where all the soldiers will be, be spawning. So it makes a little bit of sense. Uh, can we hire a hero? We can. How much gold did that take? Was it 100? I think it was. Are we covering our costs? Yeah, we're doing plus 21 a year at the moment. Until we have all these towers full. Have they got people in them? Oh, we have. Okay. Wait, you, how experienced are you now? So you're 12%. You're 30% and doing 58 damage per second. You are... 21%. Hmm, it doesn't seem to go up much. It's like nothing worth jumping up and down about. Okay, we'll put you over here. So we have 18 spare people right now. Although there's going to be more than that once this is finished. 
but that means we can have at least 20 soldiers. And I'll probably feel fairly good about that, to be honest. I mean, for the, for the for this kind of stage, anyway. It'll allow me to build some walls. The, the position I think I should be in is to, is to get the walls up before I expend my population too much. Because the, the higher your population, the more dangerous the uh, the attacks are going to be. Okay. Um, so we've got 18 people. Okay, so maybe that is all we've got. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that's ten. Unless that one. Mm, maybe that's eleven. Let's do that for now. And see where we're at. So we're waiting for the. Oh, we've got 24 armaments. That was quick. Uh, this is now clear. So we can complete removal and remove that. Awesome. So should we need. In fact, we're going to. There's no, there's no should about it. Let's get it in here. How are you for space? You're doing quite well. See, we can build armaments and stop them. So we only need them for the for the moment. Uh, we've, got, we've, got, we've got some spare people. Let's... Uh... There we go. I don't want to unassign people from other jobs, so we're going to try and keep one or two idle people if I can. Now I know it takes seven people to build a piece of wall. I can uh, keep that that way. Um, so we're just waiting for the resources to be moved up here, I think. So it says eight workers, so I'm guessing these people are carrying the armaments. They've got to be. Because they're not going to be the new soldiers, are they? Or are they? Oh, they, they, they may, must be. So it's reserved the people already. Where are you going? Pause the game a second. Once they've got surreal. I forgot about those little things that they have saying on them. Feeling more secure with all new... Was that to say walls? It does. So that makes a little bit of sense. Likes their home. Recently stepped in mud. <laughs> guessing it must. If I put another one in here... Oh, it won't let me. Oh, it will let me. So I don't know what those workers are doing. Speed the game up and watch. I think they're potentially just bringing the armaments over. It seems like most of them are idle and doing nothing. Now you've come in here and done that. A soldier is going to be trained, probably. Oh, here comes another one. Yeah. Poor oh, plague. Hopefully our doctors can deal with that. Most of the uh, roads are stone. Actually, how many people do we have spare? How much does it take to do a road? What have we got? Nine. Oh, one person. Get some more of those in. Um, how are we doing for gold? We're still making plus 21 a year as it stands. Which is pretty good. What's your happiness like? It's pretty good too. Excellent. We've got a doctor coming up here. Hopefully nobody dies. I don't think they will. The stone roads are making it easier for the doctors to move around. Usually I would have a lot of hospitals. And eventually I will need to. There we go. But um... Because they can zip around so quickly, for the most part, this one hospital is is doing everything we need it to do. Okay, how many have we got in here at the moment? We have six. What? Okay, so he can uh, he can recruit those. <laughs> I love this part of the game. I'm so glad they added soldiers. So what have we got down here? Transport ship, a pier, a dock. An outpost. Okay, so the allows foreign merchant ships to dock. Now, what does that do for us? Oh, um, it was pointed out in the comments that I wouldn't be able to use this because there's no other islands. But I said there was one. There's technically two. I don't know if there's another little one up here somewhere. No. So I wonder. I'm kind of tempted to build that and just see. I mean, it'd fit in there quite nicely, wouldn't it? Okay, so you can actually. Can I actually place it in the water completely? Does that make a difference? And so it can go on land, but it needs some water. I think I think it'd look quite cool here. Maybe there. Let's go for it. Which means it's gonna need 
some road. Ooh. I almost used all my workers there. That was close. We're probably going to need another house at some point. Food is building up, so we can definitely afford it from that point of view. Oh my goodness, how quick they're building that. <laughs> I think these towers are close enough to defend it. He says. Fingers crossed. There we go. These roads are coming in. Give me a spare person if you would be so kind. Still no spare people. Oh. Okay, so we must have pinched some people from elsewhere. This building is almost done. I'm really interested to see what this does. Ah, no spare people. Okay, so this is like a, oh, it's like a storage place. So, current and desired. So, this to me just looks like storage. So, if a foreign ship comes, does it trade with us? I don't even know. Once built, choose what resource, choose what docks it travels to and what resources to pick up and to drop off. But this just says it's foreign. Ship. So that kind of, to me, implies that we'd be able to trade with other people. Maybe we can. Maybe it's just a, uh, uh, what am I thinking of? Um, it gives you gold, potentially. Okay, so we've got enough food. I think, can we can we go all out here? This is going to, you know, make the next Viking assault pretty tasty. Um, oh, we have a dragon. Let's slow the game down. Let's see where it is. Oh, it's there. Completely away from any kind of danger. This is why it does help to have some towers within the middle somewhere. Well, I've got plenty of little spots that I can put stuff in. If I set fire up. Oh. It's getting hit on the by the ballistas. Or oh, one of them. Both of them now. Oh dear. Oh, we might actually kill one. Oh yes, look at that. Down you go. Shouldn't that make a splash? Now that's going to give us some happiness. There we go. Everybody will want to live here now. So yeah, I'm a little um, perplexed with this. Not fully staffed. Well, I get that. Because I'm building houses. What did we just... Oh, the whole one got took out. I should probably replace these with cottages, actually. Makes more sense. You get a couple more people. Two, two. I can just put a road through there. Two. Yeah. Although they wouldn't have a neighbour. That's that's one of their requirements, isn't it? So they do ne need to be next to each other. Are they? Do they have neighbours? Being taxed. Oh, it has neighbours. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's a, a... They used to have to be right next to each other. Maybe they don't need to anymore. Interesting. Uh, we got 11 gold. Can we afford... Where's the brewery? We got you there. Well, it says they're near a tavern, so that's interesting. These ones are not. Well, they've got a nearby library. Yep, that's true. Hmm. Town square. Yep. So we're going to need another another tavern up here. I don't know why I said brewery. That's where they make the ale, isn't it? <laughs> well, this is here. I'd be, I'd be interested to see if foreign merchant ships come in. I'm not really too sure. I don't really need to, to build one myself to try and colonise another island just yet. It's really... It's quite intriguing. Can you recruit the other ones? You can. How many have you got there? Doesn't tell me if I click on you. Um, four, eight, and ten. Well, I haven't really got any of the spare soldiers right now so i suppose we should go back oh, we still got tools which is which is really good so if we go back here switch back to tools we got 25 armaments in spare and we've got 11 in here ready to go so once we got some idle people I'm guessing they cost me though 42 paid to soldiers 18 paid to hospitals 21 paid to libraries but we're still making some but it doesn't appear it let me speed the game up. 
I think once the year changes, this might... I don't think it's going to be plus 21. Because that's barely moving. Interesting. Oh, wait a minute. We built the extra quarry. Yes, we did. I was I was thinking, where, where have all the spare people gone? Right, these are done. They're just waiting for people to move in. So that one has 10. That one has none. So we're at 285. So we can have another 40 people there. That's going to make a huge difference, I think. But it's, it's coming along nicely. I like this. This, like, main road going all the way up because it just you can see they're just traveling up there really quickly and it's, it's there's no kind of like windy roads apart from when they cut off i've tried a few different kind of designs during playing this game obviously you know, they changed various things i mean one of the, the things we ooh, a bustling city a thriving city has been created through your fine leadership which now means more horrible vikings are going to attack you um, yeah, for example, when we were making suggestions, the area of effect of the church used to be something like this. So, the cost of building one and maintaining one was ridiculous. Um, although, I'm pretty sure it was only one worker before it is now two, but they've now extended it, so it makes more sense. So, I'm still working on different layouts. I'm not looking for a min-max sort of approach. Um, but, still need it to be kind of efficient and somewhat realistic. I do like this, like, long... Would you call that a boulevard? I don't know. I don't know. Do boulevards run by water? I think they do. I could be wrong. I mean, I'd call it a high street, if we're talking English names. <laughs> Just like the main... the main road. But it's come together quite nicely. Definitely. Now we've got some soldiers. We will have some more. Um, they're no good against ogres. That's one problem. But... Not a bad situation to be in. I think what I'm going to do is is build uh, my little corners and have my towers on them and then fill the rest of the road in afterwards. And that, that way we have some defensive opportunities. Um, and I think I will probably just build ballistas. I know we have uh, some archers here. I'll probably replace them later on once I've got more soldiers because the soldiers are way better than these and these are just gonna make mincemeat of any ogres anyway but I think you know that's me wittering on for the better part of half an hour now I guess um, and I'd be interested to know what you think and don't forget to drop a like if you're enjoying the series um, it definitely has been one of the more viewed and most liked and commented things that I've done uh, recently probably since the last time I played Kingdoms and Castles so so it's quite exciting for me to see that sort of stuff and uh, makes it much more worthwhile but on that note, I'm going to leave the episode right here. Thank you very much for watching. But until next time, as always, take care.